allow fire signs. Let's see what the upcoming weekend has in store for you. And it could be about pretty much anything. Love, finances, friendship, uh, trips, whatever comes up. We'll have four separate spreads in this reading. Uh, the first spread is for all fire signs. It's like a bonus. And then there's going to be a separate spread for every fire sign individually. Timestamps should be in the description box down below. Uh, please share, like, and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is for all uh, fire signs. We have the King of Swords, clarified by the Page of Cups, the Knight of Cups, the Eight of Wands, clarified by the Ace of Wands, and uh, we have the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with um, an air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, we also have Water, and Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Well, <laughs> fire signs. Um, yeah, very interesting weekend. So you got this King of Swords asking you out on a date or maybe inviting you to go somewhere. Um, it could be a brand new person or it could be somebody who is already in your life. Uh, if this person happens to be a Gemini, maybe it's their birthday party that's coming up over the weekend. If they're not a Gemini or if they are a Gemini but it's not their birthday party, it's okay too. Alright, they're still asking you out. They're still inviting you somewhere with that Page of Cups, I find the King of Swords, right? And then uh, the Knight of Cups is showing up. So the Knight of Cups is the next step up from the Page of Cups, right? The Knight of Cups is the most loving, the most caring, the most romantic knight out of all for knights. Um, then we have the Eight of Wands clarified by the Ace of Wands. So this is where I think you st start showing up, <laughs> fire sign, right? Because the Ace of Wands is a fire sign indicator. You're obviously a fire sign watching this, unless you're cross watching. But uh, at the same time, the Ace of Wands is the most passionate ace out of all four aces, all right? And uh, the Eight of Wands that the Ace of Wands is clarifying. The Eight of Wands could be a card of a lot of communication, but most likely it's either you guys are literally going somewhere, right? And uh, the Eight of Wands is also a card of the Cupid's Arrows. So we do have a lot of cups here. Uh, I didn't get to the Nine of Cups just yet, but we have a lot of cups and we have the Ace of Wands. So it's both love, both emotions and uh, passion. All right, <laughs> excitement. So yeah, we got that Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck. For some of you, it could be a party, any type of a party, any type of an event, because in some tarot decks in the Nine of Cups, people are sitting around and celebrating. In some other tarot decks in the Nine of Cups, uh, people are sitting around the table and enjoying a meal and also celebrating. But uh, it's also a card of a wish come true, and it's a card of a satisfaction. Satisfaction, fire sign. So we do have love, Passion, satisfaction, <laughs> and maybe you're going somewhere with that 801s. Alright, looks awesome. Congratulations. Aries, uh, we have the 201s clarified by the 401s, we have the Hangman, uh, we have the Six of Swords clarified by the 301s, and we have the Will of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Pisces, maybe a Sagittarius. You know, um, what I usually do for the weekend highlight uh, readings, I name every single spread separately, right? I name every single spread separately. I don't name uh, spreads separately when I do my weekly readings, for example, but I do it for for the weekend highlight reading. So I even before I just turned the camera on, I already knew what I'm going to name this spread, this reading for you, Aries. It's going to be progress because that's what this spread is. It's progress. Okay, <laughs> let me let me explain. All right, so we have actually two, three, and four of ones in the same reading, in the same spread. They're a little bit out of order because the two of ones is clarified by the four of ones, and then we have the three of ones towards the end, clarifying the six of swords. So the two of ones is a card of somebody having to make a choice, somebody having to make a decision. And this decision, this choice has something to do with the four of ones. All right, the four of ones. Um, is a card of commitment, marriage, family, wedding, right, home, or or something among those lines. It has something to do with, with the family, an existing family, or a family that's about to be created, or a home, or something like that. In the middle, we have the hangman. The hangman could be uh, a card of stagnation, nothing happening. So perhaps uh, you've been sitting in this energy, or you and somebody else have been sitting in this energy for a while, but perhaps. A, before the weekend or during the weekend, time is up. You have to make a decision. The hangman could also be a card of uh, a light bulb moment. Perhaps you were stuck 
up until this point because you didn't know you were stuck between two options, two choices, two something and at some point during the weekend you will have a realization, a light bulb moment, right? And you'll know what to do. You'll know what to do. And here comes the Six of Swords, clarified by the Three and Ones, and we also have the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. All those three cards are talking about progress. For some of you, it's literally moving. For others of you, it could be literally going somewhere or moving forward. You're no longer stuck. You know what you want. You know which option you're choosing. You know where you're going, where you're moving, or uh, what you're starting, and things like that. Right? That's what those three cards are talking about. Progress. All right? Cool. Leo, uh, we have uh, Temperance, clarified by the Two of Cups, we have the Three of Cups, we have the Will of Fortune, uh, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles, and we have the King of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Chances are you're dealing with a fellow fire sign. <laughs> Here is uh, another Leo or Sagittarius, Sagittarius in particular. Alright, yeah, um, just for the reading's sake, uh, Leo, I assume the King of Wands is the person you're dealing with, but for some of you, it could be you, right? But just to make it easier for me to interpret, I assume the King of Wands is somebody else. Most likely a fellow fire sign. As a matter of fact, both Temperance and the Wheel of Fortune could be Sagittarius cards, right? Temperance is a Sagittarius card, and the Wheel of Fortune could be interpreted as multiple zodiac signs, and uh, Sagittarius is one of them, and that's the zodiac sign I usually go with because of Jupiter in the Wheel of Fortune. Right, so uh, let's see what's going on. It, you could be getting back together with a fire sign. <laughs> I know, I know you guys never take anybody back, but the, every rule has an exception, okay? So it could be a, a reconciliation, because temperance could also be interpreted as a card of healing, all right? And the Wheel of Fortune could be interpreted as a card of a restarting a cycle or starting a new cycle with somebody from your past, but on new terms, okay? If this person is new, which is also possible, if this person is new, perhaps temperance is talking about balance, or it's also a card of patience, <laughs> okay? Patience. The Two of Cups clarifying temperance, there's definitely two people in the Two of Cups, I assume that's you and this King of Wands, it's a card of a soulmate connection, it's a card of unconditional love, it's a card of when two people are on the same page, the Three of Cups in the middle, it could be a card of a reunion by, any chance, by, by the way, but uh, it could also be a card of uh, some sort of a party, celebration. You know, it could be absolutely any type of an event that you could be uh, going together with. Or it could be both of you celebrating, you know, love for one another. The Wheel of Fortune, as I already mentioned, it could be a restart of a cycle or starting a cycle on new terms. But if it's a new person, it's a start of a new cycle. Just a new cycle. The Wheel of Fortune is a un very universal card, you know. Most importantly, the Wheel of Fortune is a very fortunate card, hence the word fortune in its name. <laughs> and the Ace of Pentacles, I find that, um, it's a golden opportunity, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. The Ace of Pentacles is a very serious card, very serious Ace. It always comes from somebody who is ready to settle down, ready to start a family, ready to get serious, and all that good stuff. Alright, cool. Sagittarius, uh, we have uh, the Five of Swords, clarified by the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Um, this is about money, <laughs> okay, Sagittarius? It's about money, it's about work, business, finances. And uh, you are winning, you're winning, and this victory is just going to be kind of brutal. I'm not calling you out, I'm just interpreting the cards. It's like you are the one who is getting... Um, a promotion. You're the one who is getting a raise. You're the one who is getting that contract. And uh, there's definitely going to be somebody who is losing, right? You're winning. I think you're winning. But somebody is losing. And it's going to be like a, um, a victory that your opponent, they're going to lose so badly it's not even funny. Because that's what the Five of Swords is. It's a card of victory at any cost. And the loser usually loses it all, you know. <laughs> so if you and somebody else are up for a promotion, you know, they're going to be devastated because you're getting that promotion. You know, I, it's just an example. The Five of Swords is qualified by the Knight of Pentacles. This is what it's all about with the Three of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You know, money, work, business, finances, contracts, jobs, um, promotion, what have you. And you're getting it, you're getting it. But somebody is, is going to be devastated. Somebody's going to be defeated. 
All right. The next card that came out is the Ten of Pentacles, and it's clarified by the Four of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is a card of uh, real estate, by the way. Maybe you're into real estate, um, or it's a card of financial abundance. Financial abundance, a pile of cash coming your way. The Four of Pentacles right next to the deck. This is you keeping, keeping that Knight of Pentacles uh, coin. You see how the Knight of Pentacles is offering a pentacle? That's the pentacle you're holding on in the Four of Pentacles. All right, so it is a bit of a brutal, but uh, you know you do you gotta you do what you gotta do. <laughs> All right, cool.